So we're using voiceover coaching in the school to develop uh, teachers and what happens is I film the lesson live, I'm hooked up to a microphone and I'm able to speak into the microphone and support the teacher, in this case Ali, to uh, identify moments in the lesson where she could make a change in her practice that would increase the progress. Give them any prompts that they need. Nice, really nice. So making them aware what they should be doing. We found that this technique was working well um, because I'm not actually in the room itself, so it, I don't impact on the lesson. Ali's free to teach and the children are responsive to Ali. But also it serves a need because Olivia, Ali's mentor, is teaching at the same time and so she's not able to get into those lessons. And so it means Olivia and Ali can watch the videos back in their mentor meeting and discuss the lesson in full. Students, see what they're doing. <coughs> Make sure it's of the standard. So use the quiet time now to target anyone who you feel needs more support. In our mentor meetings, we use the voiceover coaching by first of all sitting down and just watching the video together, taking in what Laura um, has said in her voiceover. And then after that, Ali. Um, we'll come up with what she thinks are the key points that Laura has been making and we'll use those together to come up with the highest leverage action step. If students are coming in late, I need to be by the door so I can sort of... Initially, I was quite nervous about watching myself back, but now I'm actually quite comfortable with the videos. I found it incredibly useful because I get concrete actions that I need to take to improve with the group. You need to make it clear if they're going to be improving with a green pen or a blue or a black pen, some children are doing it. But there isn't 100% accountability around that right now, so if you're improving in green, you need to say, we're improving in green. After watching the first video we did, the second recording, the difference in the first five minutes of the lesson was absolutely extraordinary. I was doing all these things that Laura had told me um, to do, and I was really pleased to see such progress in such a short amount of time and then that built my confidence with that group. So I think I found it really useful watching the videos back after the lesson instead of having real-time feedback because I find that because it is quite a challenging group for me I often feel quite stressed in the lesson whereas when I have the opportunity to watch the videos after the lesson in a calmer more relaxed setting I can then be more reflective. And I think where this is successful compared to other types of coaching is a combination of the visual alongside Laura's soundtrack means, but it's very real for Ali when she's standing back in that classroom. She can picture what Laura is saying at what point in the lesson and act on it. So there's certain things now which I always implement because I can sort of hear Laura's reminders in my head. To make voiceover coaching successful, I think you do need to be organised. So after I filmed Ali, the same day I make sure that she gets the video so that she then has the video for the mentor meeting with Olivia so that they can go through that in a relatively short amount of time after the lesson and then Ali's able to prepare the changes and the action steps ready for the next meeting. So I do think there needs to be a sense of efficiency around making sure the video is transferred to the people that need it. And um, One thing which I think is really important about when we sit down in the mentor meetings to watch the video together is that I am able to provide more than what Laura is just saying because otherwise it's a waste of our time if I'm just repeating her points. So it's important I think for the mentor um, using voiceover coaching to connect the comments that are being made to the specific subject to the wider practice of the teacher who's using it so that we can really make sure it's the highest impact um, for the teacher. I think inherently the teacher needs to be incredibly reflective to have success with voiceover coaching. It requires you to expose yourself uh, to your mentor and, and also in this case me. And what that means is when you watch that video back you can't be afraid to, to critique yourself in the name of making progress. <laughs>